Hey guys, welcome to the overview of the FCS Networker account creator. Um, after you've installed your software and opened it up, uh, the first things you're going to want to do is just set your settings, make sure uh, your main settings are all set. So if you have a capture service, you want to go into the tools menu up top and you'll see the capture service. And uh, you can just click that and it'll give you options to add uh, which capture services you want to use. Next thing I would do is jump into the settings menu and then settings again. And this is where you want your uh, web-based login to be saved right here. You want it to be your email and password for your web-based login. Um, the software will automatically have that saved in there for you. Um, but just make sure, it's always best to make sure that the you haven't changed the password or the password and email are correct. So first time loading up, just make sure that's all saved correctly. You can also set your retry attempts. Uh, this will um, is how many times it will retry each account uh, if it fails. And then your delay before the auto email verification. This is how many seconds it's going to wait before uh, automatically verifying emails for the account set. Now, uh, we have it set to 120, which we find works great, but you could also set it to different numbers. And then there's the multi-set creation delay in seconds. So if you're creating multiple sets of accounts and you don't want them to be created uh, right one right after another, you could set, let's say, uh, 200 seconds. So it'll wait 200 seconds before it uh, tries to create that next set of accounts. Got our news update tab, which just shows uh, the FCS Networker news and any updates. Um, Hotmail Creator. This is where uh, it's one of the easiest and simplest Hotmail Creators out there. You just put in how many accounts you want to create and then just create Hotmail. So it'll either create a Hotmail or Outlook.com account. Um, they're both basically the same thing. When your accounts are created, they will go into this Hotmails account, Hotmail accounts txt folder, uh, file, sorry. So you'll see uh, when accounts are created, they're added to here. When they're added though, they look like this. They'll have available next to them. So these accounts have all been used. So this is the file that if you wanna use your own, let's say you have 200 Hotmail accounts that you wanna use for creation, you can just uh, paste them in there with the uh, email account, password, and then you want to put available next to them. This lets the software know that they're available. The reason why we do this is because we don't, we like uh, users to be able to um, go back and log into their Hotmails. A lot of software will just delete the Hotmail account after it's been used, but this way your file will always save your accounts in case you ever need to log in again. So your old accounts will have used, the ones that you want um, to, the ones that are still uh, new and fresh, just put available next to them. So um, if you're pasting it in, make sure your accounts all have that comma then available next to them. All right, since we're in the folder right now, we'll just go over a, a few quick things. Um, the things you need to know about project accounts. This is where all your account information is saved for each project. So each project will be saved and then um, if you click on it, it'll be the uh, it'll have each one of your accounts created with username, password, homepage link, all the stuff that you can just like copy and paste the file, and um, it goes right into our bulk account importer if you wanted to do it manually. So the project accounts folder is where you find all your account information. Your projects folder is where your project information is saved. Things like uh, the username, blog title. Um, project settings that you had saved for that individual project. And then your social folder is where your social accounts are. Same as the project accounts folder, but just for where we store your social accounts. And that's basically all you need to know as far as uh, the file system uh, within the folder. So um, let's get down to uh, how this all works. So we tried to make this pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so the best way to start, we always find, if you're just starting, is our quick setup wizard. So you press that and enter a project name, um, project name, demo project, 
Okay, would you like to automatically upload your accounts to your FCS networker? Yes. Um, shall we order generate account information to be used for account creation? Yes. Okay, so now you'll see it's going to generate some user data. Okay, all of that is now generated. You have your password, your username, your blog title, and your blog description are all spun. We have this box checked that's going to auto upload your accounts. Um, and then that upload here, are your upload options. It automatically is set to upload um, your accounts into a category with the project name. Um, but you could change this if you wanted to. You just open that. Uh, it'll ask you to choose your project. So you could choose um, a project that's already open, that you already have in the web base. This reads off your web based account. So any categories, um, networks you've made within your um, web based account will show up here so you can just easily continue to upload accounts to those or you could create a new category so if you decide to create a new category what is the category's name uh, demo project um, but either way if we just um, selected a uh, project name so it'll get Uploaded to your web-based account under this name demo project. So all your accounts will be in a category under that name very neat and easy to deal with If you're using proxies you want to select the uh, use proxies um, You got your oh did, I'm not sure if we went over proxies proxies uh, just click here and this is where you can um, add your proxies proxy list is uh, IP Port, then username, password. If you don't have uh, or don't need the username or password, just leave them off um, and that'll work fine too. You can test your proxies here. Um, we do our proxy tests through Tumblr and WordPress.com. Uh, a lot of tools use Google, but we find that Google uh, doesn't give an accurate assessment of uh, if the proxies will work with these Web 2.0 accounts. These Web 2.0 accounts are a bit harder. Um, for proxies than um, Google is. So sometimes your proxies might work in Scrapebox, but they're not working well here. Um, so our proxy tester is a little bit different. And on top of that, we highly recommend private proxies. The uh, shared proxies and public proxies are constantly banned at these sites because these are some of the most strict sites on the web, which is also what kind of makes them such great quality links to get. All right, so then you have your auto verify emails checkbox. Uh, if you check that after account creation is finished, it will just automatically wait um, 120 seconds or whatever you set it to, and then it will go through and verify your emails so you don't have to sit and babysit the bot. Um, and then you could have it get a pre created email. Each user gets 10 of our pre created emails per day, um, or you could have it just Instead of that, you could have it auto create uh, a Hotmail slash Outlook account instead if you've used up your 10 pre created for the day. But uh, we'll leave that at pre created. Then we have it set to do one run. You could do multiple runs. Let's say you wanted to do five sets, just leave that at five. Oops, and then it'll uh, automatically just create five sets after set one is done. It'll go and create set two, set three, set four. Um, but for now, let's just leave that at one run. So we're going to grab our pre created email, going to create the accounts using proxies. It's going to auto verify the emails, then it's automatically going to upload the accounts. We have our thread count set to four, which is usually a good start if you find the bot is uh, having issues with crashing or, or going slow. You might want to decrease your thread count but that thread count sorry guys but if you're uh, if you've got a really powerful computer you can up it um, if you'd like but we always like to stick with four we also have uh, this auto gen user data button which is uh, if you click this it'll just uh, refresh your auto generated user data so now you have a new set of user data right there um, and if you have this checkbox checked um, It'll do that every time it's creating a new account. So you have a different username for each account. If you uncheck this, it'll use the same username um, or the same username spin for each account. Um,
but usually best to just leave that checked. If you want to use your own uh, hotmails from or emails, doesn't need to be hotmails, just check the use hotmails.txt emails rather than the get pre-created. So if you're doing that, you don't check that and just use your own hotmails uh, right there. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, you could open old projects here. Um, you could save a project. Our projects automatically save once you press start, so you don't need to save each individual project. But if you end up opening, going back to a project and changing a few things, you uh, best to save your changes after that. So that's about it. Then you're all set here. Um, so basically, you just press start, and then uh, you'll see it's grabbing a pre-created email. And we got our email, and now it's going to create our accounts. And then it'll show green uh, if the account created successfully. And uh, dots show which, uh, which sites are currently being created. And that's about it, guys. Uh, uh, pretty simple and easy to use account creator. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.